All right, now we're in. Let's do it. So, uh, Banner 1 is the NES era of Final Fantasy games. What exactly is... I can't answer that right now. Um, that means Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, and Final Fantasy 3. Uh, and these are not often pulled banners. Uh, one and two especially. Three definitely bucks that trend being uh, not a, a game that Global knows as well as you know Final Fantasy 1 and, uh, and 4 and 6, but uh, just the sheer power of Final Fantasy 3 characters means that 3 is a pulled uh, realm quite often, and will continue to be in the future, because the next two Final Fantasy III events are uh, really, really powerful, especially the second one. Uh, yeah, especially on Midnight. Uh, but Final Fantasy 1 and 2 aren't pulled very often, which makes this an interesting banner, or could have been an interesting banner, because it would have allowed uh, people to drop a little mithril, uh, similar to the way we did in the last festival. Uh, on the lightning banner, and to say, I'm going to throw 50 at this, and I'll have a high percentage chance of pulling something that will help me very much in either of these realms, and uh, there were a lot of good things on this banner um, that would actually help an A-team as well, especially because Final Fantasy 3 is in here. Uh, but as we're going to see, uh, that changed quite a bit. Uh, this lost a lot of what it had. Um, and I guess I, I know everyone wants me to get into it, but I, I really need to do a little bit of an aside here. Um, I'm not going to go that deep into what has changed from JP to, to Global. Um, everyone should be aware. Uh, the way the festival schedule works is every three months we get a festival with five banners full of, you know, clearance sale shit like this. And it's all, you know, it's all fine and dandy. And uh, what happened in Japan is they they went off script. And three months after their extreme festival, our summer festival, they had something called Superfest, which was uh, ignored by Global. And after Superfest, one month later, they had 30th anniversary. So if you line up our schedules, say they're six months ahead of us in their festival what happened was their 30th anniversary was seven months ahead of us not six so subtract six months and what does that leave you it leaves you an extra month uh, their 30th anniversary festival was one month ahead of where we are we shouldn't be getting this right now which means the banners did need to be tempered um and that's something everyone needs to realize and needed to realize before we got the banner information that these, uh, if they were going to balance them correctly, was never going to be as good as Japan's were. Um, and you need to you need to look at that going in. And there's another half of that and the reminder that these banners were never going to be the same. And since they were never going to be the same, but we were able to look at Japan's, you always get so hyped and you always plan around the things that you're seeing, even if you're only doing it subconsciously. Uh, and that's what everyone does. And when the banners come, it didn't matter what they changed them to. It was always going to be a disappointment because it was something that we didn't plan for. Um, and that's why when I take a look at these banners, it's not going to be rage, 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 like I very well could. Uh, but I won't. Well, we didn't miss lucky draws. We got side grades to our lucky draws. We got dungeon or dungeon update luckies while JP got elemental luckies. I prefer the elemental, but it's uh, we didn't actually lose value. Um. So yeah, I'm not going to like be this banner just got wrecked according to you know yeah i i agree that elemental was way better um uh compared to japan because it's a really poor um it's a poor comparison to make that's all 
and it's uh I don't know it's um it's dishonest uh, and it feels like you're going out of the way to complain about something but uh, with that said that's my preface uh, we're going to go into phase one um, and analyze from a a non ragey standpoint and whether or not these banners are uh, worth the damn um, starting off we have Furion's USB uh, let's go take a look at it oh man I forgot to set this up for the editor please go to the editor oh thank goodness Uh, Fearing's USB is really weird. Fearing's USB, double trouble. Holy non elemental ten single attacks grants X uh, loyal retainer and attach holy to the user. Uh, we need to reduce the size of this a little bit so we can actually read the effect line. Uh, I'm sorry, let, please let me know if you're unable to read the stuff, because this is actually really small. Um, X loyal retainer and attach holy to the user. So we're going to go take a look at uh, loyal retainer, because, I mean, that's the point of this entire USB. Uh, for those of you who do not know how to... Uh, all right. I, I can blow it up, but uh, it may cut off some lines. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to or haven't uh, navigated Enlier's spreadsheet before, um, statuses granted by soul breaks and stuff can be found under the status tab. That's where we are right now. So we run a search for lo loyal retainer under the status tab, and we get... this. Uh, attack plus 30%, it's fine. Uh, cast speed times 2, uh, plus 0.5 cast speed for each attack used for the duration of the status, up to uh, 6.5. Uh, so it's a it's an iterative. Uh, the more times that you use abilities during this 15 seconds, the faster his cast speed becomes. It's meant to, it really, uh, not only meant to, but m absolutely must be comboed with his BSB in order for this to be effective because uh, it grants him an only status on cast. And there isn't anything that he has available to him that, um, that can combo with his cast speed that well other than his burst commands. Uh, I find a problem with that. And uh, I think my biggest problem is that Furion's BSB is powerful, but it's powerful for the entry. The commands aren't really all that hot. Um, but I can see this being okay uh, using the command that allows you to uh, four single attacks uh, wholly because it's got unholy. Um, well, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, Solus. Uh, and that's why he's required to have his BSB, because Furion has no access to holy abilities. Zero. Zero access. Uh, oh my god, thank you very much for the follow. Um, and it's it's not even that hot. It doesn't even sound that great, even with all of this together. Um... Does the Kamehameha one stack over to the later cast of the BSB? Yes, it does. Um, but the thing is, fights don't last that long. Uh, it, you you never really get a fight that lasts long enough for that to be effective, because you not only are you hurting yourself at the start of the battle, um, but it does take 
a while after you get it going for it to pay dividends. And really the only time that that's going to be effective is inside Torment Dungeons in which we have uh, trash and, uh, you know, a long waves because the, the counter will persist from the start of the first wave to the end of the battle or the boss battle at the end of the wave. Um, so this is just, just isn't that good. Uh, USBs these days, and this is fine. Like if you have his USB and BSB together, they are good. And you know, Legend Dive them, you're going to have a good character. But the, what I'm looking for is uh, a general feel for where the, the power level of the game is at the moment. And Furion just uh, doesn't add up. He, he doesn't hold a candle to the... There's a myriad of powerful USBs in the game right now, and Furion's just isn't one of them. So uh, we're off to a bad start on this banner. Uh, and next up, we have Lunith's USB, which is actually much more powerful, but still kind of lacking. Well, Solus, that's a that's a bit harsh. Uh, Lunith's USB, uh, ten single attacks. Uh, 0.72 each grants attach win X Gale and high quick cast one to the user. Uh, so what we're looking at here is high quick cast one and attach wind. Uh, the way these USBs usually go is X Gale is most likely going to grant him high quick cast one once he uh, fulfills a certain condition. So let's go take a look if that's true. Grants attack 30% and grants high quick cast 1 to the user after using a wind attack. Uh, pretty good. Uh, we are eventually going to be getting a 5 star Dragoon ability. That's what um, Lunath is. That is an exact copy of Lightning Dive, which is a very powerful 5 star Dragoon ability, uh, just for wind instead. And that's what he would use to combo with this. So really, uh, you life siphon into it, and then you high quick cast out aerial dives. Um, it can be an issue and not as powerful, not nearly as powerful as other things if you're using uh, speed 1 in the game because of the way Dragoon jumps work. But if you're using something higher, like you know speed 3 to 5, then it's not going to affect it as much. But it still will affect it, and it does make it uh, not as powerful as a lot of other USBs because of that, uh, that jump delay. Um, but that jump delay is cancelled out. Uh, by the fact that Aerial Dive and Lightning Dive both have very high multipliers for 5-star abilities. I think... Thank you very much for the follow, Dragon Flame. Um, yeah, and when you can dive to 5-star Spellblade, uh, that means you cannot use Snow Spell Strike, unfortunately. Um, but he can at least area of effect, so that's cool. New Wind Spellblade? Do we have a new Wind Spellblade coming? I didn't think we did. Could be wrong. I haven't looked at these in a while. Uh, we do not. There are no Wind Spellblades coming out. Uh, the only two that we have access to right now are Tornado Strike and Snow Spell Strike, and that is all that we would get. Um, so, and he has, he does not have access to Snow Spell Strike, he does have access to Tornado Strike though, which is a good wind ability, and it does mean that, uh, since his, uh, X Gale procs off of, uh, wind usage, and not, you know, school usage like Dragoon abilities, this is actually pretty good for him, since he can, uh, do very powerful single target damage with Aerial Dive, and very powerful area of effect damage with Tornado Strike. Um, so this is, I would consider this, a good USB. It is not one of the best USBs in the game, uh, but it is, uh, it benefits from the fact that it's on Lunith, and Lunith is a very powerful character who has a great kit. Uh, he, I think he gets access to support for, and 
uh, darkness too, so he's a self buffer as well. Um, Lunath is just a very very good character, and uh, and that makes this a good USB. Uh, next up, we have Warrior of Lights USB. <laughs> Solus enough. Um, where have I? Sorry, got distracted. Uh, bitter, bitter end. It's grim. Uh, grants X light bless and attach holy to the user. Are you drunk? Uh, not drunk. I'll wait for Adia to say it. My newbie friend, Ultralike to know if it does both spring on banner, it's for OKBSB and I am. No. Going to Miss Sharp Charity. Sharp Charity. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't think it is. And that's something I would have answered at the end of the banner. Uh, X Light Bless and Attach Holy. Um, so right away we have an X mode plus Attach Holy. It's exactly like Furian's. Uh, Warrior of Light's a better character than Furian. But we'll see if this is any good. Uh, similar Twitch Anonymous, but uh, Lightning has access to something that doesn't have a jump timer on it, which is pretty awesome. Alright, we have Light Bless right here. I don't have to do a search for it. Um, defense plus 100%. Alright, so it's meant to be a guard bringer thing. Knight abilities deal 5% more damage for each knight ability used up to 30%. Uh, so you have 15 seconds to mix in as many knight abilities as you can. Uh, this is going to be powerful uh, because this defense plus 100% means he can use Guardbringer, which uh, is now and will continue to be in the future because it eventually gets a buff up to 5 hits as long as you hit that uh, defense threshold. Um, this is powerful because the 5-star ability that's meant to match with it is very powerful. So... This is a good USB on one of the better Paladins in the game. Um, and I, I'm mentioning this in passing. Uh, I would prefer, prefer uh, Warrior of Light's Chain, absolutely, Shimra. But this is still good. Um, like I said, I know his chain was on this banner in Japan, but uh, I'm not going to evaluate the banner in that way. In that way. Um, yeah, I think that's what I would do Strider if I was playing... Uh, Warrior of Light with this, I would use Divine Cross, which we'll be getting eventually, uh, which gives him uh, draw fire and plus 100% defense, which would stack with this, um, and use that until it generated enough soul break, uh, using Lion Heart, so you're drawing attacks to you, and uh, uses his USB, and then use Guardbringer, and you'd have plus 200% or plus 100% times two uh, for to, to use with Guardbringer, and you'd be great. We're getting uh, Divine Cross next week. Okay, great. Love it. I've been waiting for that ability for a while. That's pretty much an instant R3 for me. Um, so this is a good USB. I, I think it's similar to... Kind of similar to Lunith's. Uh, I think Twitch Anonymous made a, a like a comparison between Lunith and Lightning's. I believe I prefer Lightning's USB over Lunith's. Um, just very slightly because she has an advantage in ability usage. Because um, I would prefer to be using Thundering Quad Strike instead of Aerial Dive. Um, and I would kind of put this one in the same category as uh, Warrior of Light versus Cecil and his USB. I prefer the, the Unholy and the defense plus 100% through that instead. Um, I don't even know why. I guess we'll get to that on the second banner. But I remember making that comparison before. Uh, either way, they're both really powerful. Very similar to Lunath and Lightning. 
Um, because they're both meant to be used with guard burner, and they both bestow defense and stuff like that. Um, so that's two good USBs. Uh, one not kind of average, not terribly desirable. Um, and that's okay. I mean, the banner's all right so far. Uh, next up, we have Onion Knight's B uh, OSB, which is a really good thing to have. Uh, yeah, the huge HP stock is nice. Um, I guess it's worth mentioning. Let's say Warrior of Light does more damage and Cecil has more tankiness going for him. But anyway, Onion Knight's uh, OSB. I personally want this because I think Onion Knight is a really good character right now with his BSB. And he becomes a really good character later. Um, with his USBs, and he'll always be able to find value in having an OSB, even if it is non-elemental, um, because it is good to have finishers on the characters that you're using, because they make fights quicker. Um, so I actually really want this. Do I want this as much as I wanted? I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I do want this. And I think it's a very good thing to have for anybody else who had any intention on running Onion Knight parties. Um, it is Magicite friendly. It's, that's correct. Like, Onion Knight himself is very Magicite friendly. Um, yes, Epic Wander. So, if you had any intention on running... Uh, Onion Knight as a, as a strong support character in, in your party. Um, this is a great pickup. This is a great pickup. And I will be... Here, here I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think this is better than what the alternative would have been. As much as I would have liked the alternative. Uh, everyone's seen my Magicite parties and my farming and how important Onion Knight is in those parties. I think that having Onion Knight's OSB is a huge boon to me getting 30 second clears, which I believe is the hardest content in the game at the moment. So if if I can find something on this banner that allows me to do the hardest content that I'm looking to complete, how can I put anything out of that? So there's my opinion on that. Uh, so this is our four six stars. Um, it's okay. Uh, there's nothing that really jumps out to me as, uh, you know, OP. There's nothing game-breaking here, but it's all fairly good stuff. It's it's not that good. It, it's an OSB. OSBs, uh, because I'm doing a special stream right now, and we have a lot of viewers that probably haven't watched these before, uh... I have a, a philosophy about OSBs, in which they have a cap in how good they can be, because it's only damage, and uh, typically usefulness uh, favors utility things, but OSBs are only damage. But there's also um, a floor that they can't go past, because they'll always have a use that nothing else can accomplish. Um, and that is as a finisher at the end of the fight. It is using that one bar of Soul Break to get an entire amount of burst damage in a very short amount of time. Hey guys, if any of you are around for the board game stream last night and enjoyed it, Please let me find the parking ticket that you got while doing it. Feels bad, man, he he. <laughs> Feels bad, man, no, he he. Uh, thank you very much, MTG Nerd Girl, for helping me fund the parking ticket that I got. Um, yeah. It was a really, really fun stream last night. Uh, it does feel bad, man. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, please, everyone, feel free to check out her stream. She's streaming right now. Um, because I, I do a lot of streaming with her. 
and I did last night. We streamed uh, some board games on her channel. Anyway, uh, I really can't interrupt this so much, so I won't do that now. I'll uh, make mention of all that later. Um, let's see. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, OSBs. Um, they'll always have a role that nothing else can encroach upon. Uh which is kind of funny because Onion Knight's kind of someone that d doesn't do that a little bit. Um, his Onion Slice, when he's uh, acting as a physical character for you, is actually really, really powerful and has a big multiplier. Um, so it's actually like an effective finisher, um, especially because it reduces their, you know, um, defense and resistance by 50%. But again, that's not that great. Uh, in, against Magicite bosses. It does do a lot of damage, but it doesn't uh, doesn't touch the 13.0 uh, multiplier, I believe, that Onion Armor does when he does physical. Uh, so it's just something that nothing else can do. So if you already have a very powerful team, um, OSBs are a way that you can make that already powerful team even more powerful. Um, they're not something I would generally prefer to ha or like to have if I had nothing else for the character. They're a way to extend usefulness. All right, that is, that's my spiel. I've gone over it a few times before in the past, but it needed to be done once. Um, so this top of the banner is just okay. There's nothing that really stands out. So that's kind of unfortunate because we're looking for extremely powerful banners uh, because that's, there are extremely powerful banners like every other week now. Uh, so these these festival banners really need to be something else. So the BSBs on this banner really need to pick up what we see at the top because the the top doesn't really doesn't really impress. Um, first up, we have Onion Gauntlets. Onion's BSB is legendary in its usefulness. Um, I use it. Everyone that has it most likely uses it, uh, unless they have specialized things like uh, you know for. Neither of which I have. Um, Mog BSB for uh, magical teams or Shout for physical teams. Um, Are you drunk? Onion BSB. No, enough. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Yeah, it was, uh... <laughs> I like that emote so much, but that's her $24.99 emote. I'm not gonna get there. No. No. It was a special kind of ticket. Uh... Yeah. But it was bad. It was, it was bad. I just parked in a tree. Um, Alright, BSBs. On Onionite BSB is really fantastic. And uh, this is going to be... Contentious. I guess that's... I think that's the word. Um, I don't think that this makes this banner worth pulling on. Because Onionite's BSB is actually just... 100% overshadowed by his USBs. Uh, that is that's correct. You did not hear me incorrectly. I, I said USBs plural. He's getting two USBs in the future. One for physical and one for magical. And they're both disgusting. Um, so the more time that goes on, the less desirable this becomes because this shows up on a banner with his USB 1, his USB 2, and his BSB. And if I wanted to throw Mithril... <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Uh, but you're, you're welcome to keep guessing. Uh, if you need to run a mixed team... Um, it's a good point. And... The disinclusion of Snow's BSB2 kind of impacts the ability to run hybrid teams, but 
I think it's becoming easier and easier to run hybrid um, without Onion Knight. I mean, think about how many attack and magic plus 30% buffs there are. If you just pair that with a good Heska. Like, uh, see what I've done in my... Um, yeah, Hyper, Hyper Mighty G is a really good uh, example. And that does appear on this uh, festival on Banner 4. Yeah, 4. PS2 era. Um, which abilities does OK use with his physical USB? Most likely since you're diving him. Uh, you're going to be wanting to use Celerity abilities, so probably Dervish, uh, Power Chain, Dervish, uh, Ripper Rush, uh, once that gets buffed, which it gets much better. The, the buff that comes for Ripper Rush actually makes it usable. I hope uh, very few people have uh, shattered it, because it really was useless and it was kind of obvious that they were going to give it a buff eventually. Uh, you're right, and Onion can, it can entrust as well. That's always an available uh, option for him. If, if anyone has seen me do Magicite Dungeons, I've used Onion Knight as an entruster uh, for the fire and wind. I have used, uh, used him for uh, five-star ninja abilities because ninja abilities deal a ton of damage in Magicite Dungeons. Uh, Onion Knight is just a really, really flexible character in that way. And you're right, Blyvin. Uh, I don't know if anyone matches... The, the supreme um, flexibility of Onion Knight's BSB, but again, that BSB also does show up on that Final Fantasy III banner, and I I think everyone should have their eyes on that. Uh, if this was a banner you were looking at for, okay, I finally want to get Onion Knight's BSB, just be patient. Try to be patient, because that banner is really really good it's really really good and it is not going to get worse it's one of those like that Final Fantasy 14 banner with wall and Alphano and and, and Ishtola's BSB that just this is one of the best banners that we have in the future it is worth all of that hype um, it, that is it and really oh god uh, it's it's tough it's really tough um, but That, that's one of the things where I say, wait, try waiting. Yep, that is it, Sir Hetero. It is Super Shout. Uh, it does not have his OSB, unfortunately, Jimbo. That's correct. Uh, which is unfortunate, but... You know, what are you going to do? Um, okay, so I spent a lot of time on that because I believe this is probably the biggest uh, biggest point that we can make about this banner. Uh, yes, that's insane. And Refi USB and BSB. One of the strongest banners I have seen in the history of the game. That is, that is the Ununite USB's banner. Um, so I really... I spent a long time on the Onion Gauntlets, but for a good reason. Because this, this was you know, the opinion of people's, uh, like, poll plans for the banner. Uh, and yes, the, the banner isn't that good anymore. Uh, Furian's BSB, however, is good. Uh, not as good as it used to be, but it'll always, like, have a, it'll have a floor that it won't go past, because instant cast magic blink is really powerful. Um, and it allows you to kind of cheese some fights. Uh, no, we haven't, unfortunately, haven't had any more cheers. Um, I will probably because we're gonna be we're gonna be streaming. Um, we're gonna be streaming very late tonight. I'll probably talk to people about bit farming, um, and the people that can do that. And that would be a really cool thing that people could do if they wanted to support me. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that later on. Uh, we'll continue on the, with the. Uh, with the banner. So Furion's BSB is in instant cast magic blink, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I I, I want to say Are but, but I can't. Oh my god. Not drunk enough. Line. 
We're almost there. <laughs> He's just taken over my event list. Um. <laughs> Overwhelmed us with some giant cheers. <laughs> no one's got it yet. No one's got it. All right. Um. I see. No one ever will. You will not get what my parking violation was, because it technically wasn't even a parking violation. Um. So Furion's BSB is useful. Uh, Final Fantasy II, not many people have good things in Final Fantasy II. Uh, and having that makes you pretty much in unstoppable in Final Fantasy II in the now and you know into the future. Um, so that's a good thing to have. Uh, so next up we have Desh's BSB. Oh, no, it doesn't damage you. Um, when you are the boss and you uh, and you cheer, you actually heal yourself. So uh, if she had any damage on her, that would have would have hurt her. Okay, Dash is BSB2. Oh, yeah, Holy Plus. Well, yeah, I, I don't... I'm not really going to mention that from now and into the future. Um, Holy Plus is a very common thing to find on 6-star relics. And we're going to have so many 6-star relics available in this event and in future events that getting 5-star Holy Swords or Holy Relics, uh, or Holy Swords uh, specifically, isn't that big of a deal anymore. Yeah, well, there's so many. Um, not drunk enough. We made it. Yes. Life for our Dan, thank you very much. Um <laughs> Uh, Avenger, dash is BSB. Let's go take a look at this. I have it. I shouldn't spend this much time on like stuff that's been in the game, but I'm going to do this for this because I said I would. Uh, dash is BSB is very good. It's one of the BSBs that actually um, survives the ability upgrade that we're going to be getting um, because Chain Thundaga cannot um, it cannot overcome the, the power of his first command. It's not, it has nothing to do with my driving. I actually drive excellently, okay? I know everyone says that, but I really do. It wasn't a driving violation. Um, so this is just a basic uh, mage and lightning burst. Uh, but the cool thing about it is he gets a stitch in time command, which is very sim like like standard at this point. But it's really nice that he gets a um, quick cast on his uh, first command. And what's nice is it's unlike Shantotos, which is quick cast for the command itself. It actually gives you quick cast on your next action. So that means that uh, it it's a very small distinction. Um, oh, fine. Key Pride actually got it. It's a very small distinction. Um, but it matters because what Shantoto does, it reduces the cast time of her commands. Uh, while Desh reduces the cast time of his commands, and then after you're done doing commands, then you reduce the cast time of your Soul Break, which is a much more impactful uh, cast time reduction. Uh, the difference between Stitch in Time and Lingering Spirit is Stitch in Time is plus 30% magic and minus 30% uh, defense. Well, Lingering Spirit is the same, but minus 30% resistance instead of defense. So I generally consider Stitch in Time to be the better um, command because you're in the back row and defense is less impactful there usually. Uh, while Lingering Spirit and reducing your resistance 30% is always going to be, you know, uh, panic-worthy and makes my Sid Reigns and everyone else's Sid Reigns take a lot of damage. Um, uh, but yeah, that's the difference. I 
Anyway, Desha's BSB is good. It's a good pull. Uh, Layla's BSB is really powerful. No, Lingering Spirit is... No. If you, you guys want to check this right now, Strider. Could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah. Stitching time. Plus 3% magic and minus 3% defense. I was right. Uh, Layla's BSB is very strong, but it is poison. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of usage where, you know, other people's would. Uh, you can use Virians. You, you can use Onion Knights in any. You can use Virians versus uh, Holy. You can use Dashes versus Lightning. Uh, Layla's BSB is very, very powerful. <laughs> but there's no hard content for you to use as poison damage versus. Uh, so that that's unfortunate. Uh, Ingus BSB is still good to this day. Um... It's an N Earth BSB, and one command gives him Sentinel, which is really good, and I'll tell you why in a second. And the second command is uh, Grants and Retaliate, so it's a Tauntaliate inside of a burst. Um, Alpha, I, I would I would consider that good. Um, I have no Poison Relics, so I would like Layla's BSB. It's just not, like... Okay, I'm gonna beat the hardest content in the game with it. I, I think personally, I would like it because I need to defeat the D200 uh, Sid mission uh, for Final Fantasy II Torment, uh, which has a poison vulnerable component. Uh, you're right; it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, Jimbo, um, and that's where it would. I would say it would fall off. Uh, and we're talking about Ingus BSB now. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage because uh, each command is uh, two hits of Earth. He does get an Earth on cast though. And here's the here's the kicker: is that Ingus turns into an Earth version of um, Agrius and Beatrix, and we all like those BSBs, right? Because eventually we get an ability called Earthbringer, which is the exact same thing as our Guardbringer ability at the moment, uh, which is four hits of earth damage up to a 4.0 multiplier. That's a huge multiplier, even for a 5-star ability. Um, as long as you have a certain amount of defense. And he allows him to allows himself to give himself Sentinel with one of his commands. And the Sentinel is a plus 200% defense, defense buff. In, as well as taunting uh, all BLK and PHY attacks to himself. So, really good. Um, it's, it's fine now. It, it's effective, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Once we get that ability, then Ingus starts doing a whole lot of damage. And eventually, uh, here's a very important thing to note, is on that OKBSB, OK OK USB 1 and 2 banner, Ingus's BSB 2 is on that banner. And his BSBs actually work together. He's entrustworthy with them. Because on this BSB he gets an Earth and good commands, good utility commands. And on the second BSB that appears on that banner, he gets uh, Earth Radiant Shield. And for those of you who don't know what Earth Radiant Shield does, it's basically just a, a powerful good thing. Yes, he can also, also wrath. That's a good point. Um, he can... Uh, oh, Earth Radiant Shield is, when you take damage, it's very similar to Radiant Shield that we have now, but it's only a 75% uh, mirror. But the 75% mirror is Earth damage, not blank damage. So the Earth damage can hit vulnerability and be increased over that 100%. So it makes him a very, very powerful uh, character versus bosses that are vulnerable to Earth. Hello, Terra. How are you doing? Uh-oh. That's fine. Um, so this is a fairly decent pickup off of here. Uh, not super powerful because he could probably be just uh, just as effective with his uh, his BSB two. I, I do not know, L man. That's a good question. And yes, Ingus eventually does have the Earth Chain as well. Uh, Ingus is one of the best Earth characters in the game. So there's. There's nothing wrong with getting uh, a good component to his kit. 
Um, all right, next up we have uh, Warrior of Lights BSB, uh, which is kind of not as good as it used to be. Uh, we got this for the first time a very long time ago, I think at the turn of the year in December um, for the uh, the festival that we had at the end of Final Fantasy, or sorry, uh, uh, 2016. Um, maybe even earlier. But uh, it's a good BSB. It was good. Well, uh, but uh, since that time, we've gotten Earth, or Guardbringer. Uh, yeah, that's right. It was with OK BSB on a really bad banner, too. Um, but because of Guardbringer, this, uh, this BSB has really fallen off. I think the best part of this uh, this BSB is probably the fact that it's a plus holy damage shield. Um, but it's okay now. Uh, well, see, what it does is it's, it's Guardbringer as a command. So with one command, he can improve his defense. While with the other command, uh, he can do up to five hits of holy damage depending on his defense. And, you know, you think five hits, that's one more than... Uh, Guardbringer, but I think the like max multiplier of that five hit attack is like 2.5. So unless you're exceeding uh, 40,000 damage uh, with your Guardbringer and getting, you know, you're capping out, then oh 2.4 multiplier even less. Uh, then it it doesn't even hold a candle to the 4.0 multiplier of Guardbringer. So this uh, this BSB is really just kind of fallen off. It is an awesome animation. That is very true, Shamra. Uh, one of the best animations that the game's ever seen. But uh, it's not its not all that great of a BSB anymore. Um, Maria's BSB is always going to be powerful. Uh, it's one of those crazy-ass uh, six-hit Command 1s with a stitch in time on Command 2. Uh, and I can't even, like... W once upon a time, we made fun of Earth Damage... Um, but, I mean, there's an Earth Magicite dungeon that Maria just create, like, destroys, uh, against Hydra. Uh, so what I do with the Dirge is use Command 2 and Guard Bringer instead of Command 1. Well, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So it's just, well, well I guess what I'm saying is, like, it's a not as good version as Agrius and Beatrix. Uh, yeah, uh, Maria's BSB is very resistant to magic creep because, uh, they... It's going to be a while before they make the mistake of making things, uh, making BSBs this powerful. Um, Maria, Papalimo, and Adia are in the Sixth Club, and they're they're all great. They're all great, and they're all in this festival. Isn't that nice? Which and which is okay because these BSBs are you know on the same power level as a lot of USBs at this point. So these are actually, you know, they, they were ahead of their time. And now they're finally, like, timely in their power. Uh, so this is an excellent pickup on the banner. If Unless you have it already, it's like, I want it, everyone should want it. It's just, th these six hit Matt Mage BSBs are fan-freaking-tastic. Um, Emperor's BSB is not good. <laughs> I just, whenever I say something's not good, I want to check to make sure I'm not making an ass of myself. Um, Winds of War, six group attacks, attach wind. It's a plus darkness rod and attach wind. Isn't that swell? Emperor is one of those confused characters. Uh, wind, dark on element. Uh, three single... There we go. Four single causes stun, or interrupt, 9% each. Uh, heals the user for 20% damage dealt. Let me guess, it's a single hit. Yeah, it's a single hit. This BSP just sucks. Like, what is this doing here? Uh, Garland's BSB is horrifically bad. Um, so what is that doing here? And Matoy's BSB is also really, really just atrocious. What in What is all of this doing here? And this is uh, this is where the banner falls apart. Has a new spot. I I like it, Peril. Um, I have a lot of room to work. I have like a mini office now, and I'm gonna be able to like trick out 
my stream because of it. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so, this is my issue with the banner, and uh, I originally had intentions on pulling on it because I would like Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2 things. Uh, one of the advantages uh, I thought I could have gotten is if there were a low number of Final Fantasy 3 stuff on it. Um, but that is not true anymore. Uh, with the addition, uh, we took off, uh, with Onion Knight's armor being here, uh, Luneth's, Onion Knight gauntlets, Dash's, Ingus's, uh, there's a lot of Final Fantasy 3 stuff on here, which makes it, uh, a lower probability than I would have liked of getting Final Fantasy 1 and 2 stuff and because the one in, uh, the 1 and 2 stuff is watered down so heavily by these three relics right here uh, I just don't think this banner is very good uh, I think um, this banner could have been so much better because there are very good things in a lot of these realms like uh, Sarah's BSB um, Warrior of Light's Chain Soulbreak uh, that could have made this banner really, really pullable. Uh, Refi is BSB. I, I have it, but I, I very much suggest that everyone pick it up if they can. Um, even if that will also be on the the Undenite banner. A Master Monk BSB, fantastic non-elemental damage. Um, there were some really good options that could have been on this banner, uh, but they aren't, and I don't know. Uh, I can't suggest a pull because the top end isn't good enough to redeem... The, the really terrible bottom end. Um, so I'm going to have to get my Final Fantasy 1 and 2 synergy elsewhere. Um, open discussion. How does of, uh, everyone think about feel about this? Uh, I would definitely take one more, Hugh. Would not be upset about that at all. Great relic. I don't know what you're talking about, Solus. What other banners? What's a Japan? Yeah, uh, I, I cannot emphasize enough how bad these BSBs are. I think in in a theme, in a, a banner format where the lowest thing that you can pull is a BSB, uh, it, these banners are supposed to be safe. The, like they should be safe like the worst thing that you can pull off these banners be like well okay I can find some use for that uh, these three are just garbage Exactly, Solus. This is not a safe banner. This is... I'm a terrified to pull on this banner. Welcome back, Will. Oh, me too. God, Guy's BSB? Guy's BSB is actually really good. Like, the Relic is a plus Earth Axe? Are you drunk? And Guy's BSB is a really awesome Imperial Earth. Like. <laughs> Thank you very much, you. Uh, if I have the opportunity, Terra, I think we have that pull uh, on the fourth night. So, yeah. I mean, I will pull on that banner and then make my decision, my final call, on whether or not I'm going to pull on any of the 30th anniversary banners. Yeah, yeah, I know. I saw you talking about that, Mercs. I remembered that when I saw that it didn't occur on this banner. It's like, come on. Like, that... I, I, I get the guy's not really that much, much of a draw, but that, that BSB is such value. Oh god, Guy BSB would like annihilate all Final Fantasy 2 content too. Uh 
Uh, yeah, I'll probably 100 gem it. It's still better than, you know, a lot of... Better than a lot of realm banners. But... These three, man. It's... It's, un it's tough. It's tough. A guy and Maria would be ridiculous. Yeah. Congratulations, Microsoft. Deuce BSB is great. Did you see my poll? I got, um... Realms BSB. <clears throat> uh, drunk? I think that's a high probability, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I hope everyone said their piece about the first banner. It's regrettable. I think there's probably going to be a lot more dialogue that goes on for the second banner because uh, I know a lot of people were pumped for the four, five, and six realms. There's a lot of powerful stuff in there. Um, so let's go. Let's take a, take a look at it. Are you drunk? No, I'm drunk. Thank you very much, Jimbo. Neither wander. I, I'm. I'm just gonna hope I get lucky. I'm gonna hope I get lucky, or I get a power creep R R R W that I can bring into the, the torment CM. I just can't justify a pull on stuff like this. Uh, the next uh, Final Fantasy II banner or event doesn't have banners I want to pull on. Just give me some stuff in luckies. We got two more, and then we have a thirty pull, and then we have another uh, all realm lucky for uh, like a selection banner, I believe. So, oh yeah, I saw that Microsoft. Nice. It's a really hot skin. Yes, I am, sub. We are going to be streaming all night until the next Lucky Draw uh, drops. So I hope everyone's able to stick around for that. I completely understand if you're unable to, though. It's going to be late at night for me, never mind uh, people eastward of me. Uh, yes, I am, Lifeguard Dan. I will be getting or purchasing that stamina shard to refresh.